like Barrymore or Houston, the name Fonda denotes Hollywood royalty. And in an illustrious clan that includes her father Henry, brother Peter, and niece Bridget, it is Jane who has had the most extraordinary life. The daughter of Henry Fonda and socialite Francis Ford Seymour was born in December 1937. Following her father's footsteps, she quickly forged a successful acting career. She received the first Best Actress Oscar nomination in 1970 for the grueling but gripping drama, They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Before winning the award for Clute in 1972 and Coming Home in 1979. At the same time, Jane was becoming increasingly known for her political views and activism. In 1970, with Fred Gardner and Clute co-star Donald Sutherland, she formed the FTA tour, dubbed a political vaudeville response to Bob Hope's USO tour. Most notoriously, she caused a firestorm of protest when photographed in Vietnam, sitting on an anti-aircraft gun, which had been used against the American Air Force. Passionately committed to charity work, Jane has long been a mass of contradictions. A global sex symbol in her early career, she nevertheless identifies as a staunch feminist and remains fiercely political, campaigning against the war in Iraq and on such issues as female genital mutilation. Her film career was still going well in the 80s, with impressive work in films like On Golden Pond and Nine to Five. It makes me real happy that it's had this kind of life. You know, it's, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but um, I talk to a lot of I, young people. I work with young people in Georgia where I live, and um, they love the movie. You know, they, they learn to look at it because of their parents, and it's a favorite movie of a lot of young people. So that makes me feel good that it's, it's held up like that. But her private life has been less successful with the failure of her three marriages to French film director Roger Vardim, politician Tom Hayden, and cable television mogul Ted Turner. However, she remained close to Vardim and was among the mourners at his funeral in 2000. Jane announced her retirement from screen acting at the beginning of the 90s, but 14 years later changed her mind and has since appeared in a couple of films. She was one of the few to defend her Georgia Rules co-star, Lindsay Lohan. You gotta have more in your life than celebrity, because celebrity doesn't last, and then you'll be left with nothing. And the other thing is, it's not a dress rehearsal, you know, this is life, and, and you know, if you blow it, you may not get another chance. She discovered some familiar emotions in the script about a mother and daughter's reconciliation. I felt some of the same things that I felt while I was Makes me emotional. When I was when I was doing on Golden Pond, you know, it's about healing and forgiveness where there's been dysfunction and don't we all know about dysfunction? So it's quite universal. Jane found unexpected inspiration when creating her over-the-top mother-in-law character in Monster in Law. Ted Turner, actually. I spent, you know, a good wonderful 10 years with him and he's a very over-the-top kind of flamboyant outrageous character that's also lovable and so I kind of learned watching and being with him um, what that might look like so he kind of inspired me he's not a monster but he inspired me and in kind of of being outrageous in 2001 she embraced Christianity another surprising life choice but the world learned long ago that for a woman as colorful as Jane Fonda Anything is possible.